A long time ago, in a network far, far away, a great adventure took place. Out of the chaos and new ideas for communication, the experiments, the tentative designs, and the crucible of testing, there emerged a cornucopia of networks. Beginning with the ARPANET, an endless stream of networks evolved and ultimately were interlinked to become the Internet. Someone had to keep track of all the protocols, the identifiers, networks, and addresses, and ultimately the names of all the things in the networked universe. And someone had to keep track of all the information that erupted with volcanic force from the intensity of the debates and discussions and endless invention that continued unabated for 30 years. That someone was Jonathan B. Postel. Our Internet Assigned Numbers Authority, friend, engineer, confidant, leader, icon, and one of the first of the giants to depart from our midst. He had been our rock, the foundation on which our every web search and email was built, always there to mediate the random dispute, to remind us when our documentation did not do justice to its subject, to make difficult decisions with apparent ease, and to consult when careful consideration was needed. He left a monumental legacy for all internauts to contemplate, steadfast service for decades, moving when others seemed paralyzed, always finding the right course in a complex minefield of technical and sometimes political obstacles. When we needed to keep track of all the hosts and protocol identifiers, John volunteered to be the number czar, and later the IANA, once the Internet was in place. John was a founding member of the Internet Architecture Board and served continuously from its founding to the present. He was the first individual member of the Internet Society. I know, because he and Steve Wolf raced to see who could fill out the application forms and make payment first, and John won. He served as a trustee of the Internet Society. He was the custodian of the .us domain, a founder of the Los Natos Internet Service, and by the way, he managed the Network and Research Division of the USC Information Sciences Institute. John inspired loyalty and steadfast devotion among his friends and his colleagues. For me, he personified the word selfless service. For nearly 30 years, John served us all, taking little in return, indeed sometimes receiving abuse when he should have received our deepest appreciation. John left a legacy of edited documents that tell our collective Internet story, including not only the technical, but also the poetic and whimsical as well. He contemplated the incorporation of a successor to his service as Anna and left a lasting legacy of service to the community in that role. His memory is rich and vibrant and will not fade from our collective consciousness. As the chairman of the Internet Society at the time of his death, I pledge to establish an award in John's name to recognize long-standing service to the community, the Jonathan B. Postel Award. It was awarded to John posthumously as his first recipient in 1998 and has been awarded every year since. If John were here, I am sure he would urge us not to mourn his passing, but to celebrate his life and his contributions. He would remind us that there is still much work to be done and that we now have the responsibility and opportunity to do our part. His record stands as a measure of one man's astonishing contribution to a community he knew and loved.